just Bob Anthony. It was an active weather day, especially in eastern Oregon. We had severe thunderstorm warnings for Adams County, Washington County, Baker County, also portions of Malheur County. And for a time, we had a tornado warning. That means a tornado imminent or on the ground. National Weather Service radar indicated a possible tornado in portions of Baker and Malheur County. And uh, that has since expired. No reports of any damage that uh, happened in a fairly remote area. You can see on our latest Doppler radar, we still have some scattered thunderstorm activity out there. Looks like some pretty strong cells up there in northern Malheur County around Baker City. Looks like uh, they might see some more action today, tonight. Uh, here's the wider picture. You can see that uh, we had a lot of showers across the whole state, especially eastern Idaho. Those were especially strong thunderstorms, just general rain. But the strongest cells around Baker City, and it looks like they're under the gun for some more activity. And that's why we still have some warnings in effect. Again, that tornado warning that was earlier today that has since expired. But we still have a severe thunderstorm watch until 11 p.m. Uh, in just the last hour, some of our counties were dropped from that watch, including Camas, Elmore, Canyon, and Ada. Looks like uh, pretty smooth sailing for the rest of the evening for those counties, but still in effect for Jem, Payette, Washington, Adams, Valley, Boise, and Baker counties. That severe thunderstorm watch in effect, that's kind of like a heads up. That means more severe thunderstorms are possible. And also, see this circulation right here? This is a low pressure system, and it's slowly sliding to the east. And as it does, it might uh, trigger some more thunderstorms in portions of northern uh, Baker County and also Malheur County as it moves on in tonight. So we could see a little light show off to our northwest this evening. But for the most part, the action is winding down. We might still see a stray thunderstorm move through uh, before midnight or so. But in general, we're going to see a lot less activity overnight and tomorrow. 77 degrees right now, partly cloudy skies and breezy high temperature today ended up being fairly warm in Boise. 97, not triple digits, but a little bit warmer than yesterday's 92. And uh, well, we finally have done away with our triple digits. We had a string of six of them, which finally ended on Friday. It looks like we're done with those triple digits for a while. Here's our satellite map. Still a lot of monsoonal moisture moving in. And with that good daytime heating, it creates kind of a very unstable atmosphere. Plus, we have that additional trigger of that low pressure system really firing off the strong thunderstorms in portions of eastern Oregon. That's where we saw the wildest weather for today. Looks like it's going to be a bit quieter for tomorrow as that low pushes to the east and eventually ejects to the northeast. And it's going to be fairly quiet across southern Idaho. Some cooler air moving in, dropping down our temperatures about 5 to 7 degrees for tomorrow. Still some lingering showers or thunderstorms possible for our west central mountains. But in general, a lot less activity thunderstorm-wise in the afternoon and a bit cooler. But still a lingering chance of some thunderstorms on Monday and Tuesday as another low pressure system drops into this trough of low pressure, this dip in the jet stream. And that's Monday and Tuesday then. Looks pretty quiet after that for the rest of the week. Mostly sunny skies for Boise for tomorrow with a high about 91 degrees. Meridian's high about 90 degrees. Mountain home up to about 92 for our west central mountains. So a lingering chance of some thunderstorms up there with partly cloudy skies. And for Sun Valley, some thunderstorms possible in the afternoon. Sun Valley's high about 77 degrees. And for the Magic Valley, you're looking at mostly sunny skies with Twin Falls High 86 degrees and our extended forecast calls for lower 90s with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies all week long and uh, a little bit cooler tomorrow less thunderstorm activity sounds good to me yep all right day in the weather center no, looking forward to it yeah no kidding thanks bob